Shalom Aleichem, in continuation, speaking about Harav, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, all of Asholem, the great Pesach Hadoir, I'd like to share a few more tidbits that I just heard from Rabbi Mayer Plotkin of Montreal, who was witness himself to the following. In 1964, the shuls in the Lower East Side were pretty much empty. People have moved out, and these were very large shuls. They can hold a thousand people, and the neighborhood went bust, and um, it was very hard to get a minion. So the Baba Shabacharim would and Yungalite would walk from Crown Heights to the Lower East Side to help make a minion to say the Vritaira. Once the they told the Rebbe that the Bacharim went to the Lower East Side and the Rebbe asked this was after Shabbos already the Rebbe asked the Bacharim had come back the Rebbe asked did they send regards my regards to the Mora the Asra the, which is uh, means, you know, the, the rabbi of the entire area. And he meant Rabbi Feinstein. And uh, the, the word so Rabbi Chadikov didn't know. The rabbi secretary who would speak to the rabbi always before the rabbi went home didn't know. So he asked the Bacharim and they said, no, they, they just went to the shuls. And uh, this wasn't uh, an area where Moshe lived in the projects over there. And this wasn't next to him where they were. And they didn't. So the Rebbe told Rabbi Chadikov, who told him what the Bukharim said, I'm not going home until they go back to Rabbi Moshe and they send him, they go to him and they send him my warmest regards. And that's what happened. This was in 1964 and Rabbi Plotkin was there. He himself heard this and was witness to it. This shows the beautiful yachas, the beautiful connection between the Rebbe and Rabbi Moshe. In 1974, the secretary of Akudis Harabonim, Rebbe Avram Shmuel Levin, married. Rabbi Platkin had been kind of a bochra mashpia for Rabbi, Rabbi Avram Shmuel when he was in 770 during the 60s. So he was friendly with him. So they, and he, he, met, they, he met him in 770. He already lived, Rabbi Plotkin, in Montreal. He married the Rabbi Hendel, the Rav, the, the, the chief Rav's daughter, and he lived in Montreal, and he came to Crown Heights. So he met his old friend, this uh, Avram Shmuel Levin. So he asked him, uh, when is your marriage, and who's being Masad the Kedush, who's going to officiate? And he said, probably Rabbi Zalma Shimon Tvorkin, who was the Chabad Rav in Crown Heights. And he said, not Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, who you, you work for as a secretary. He said, Rabbi Moshe is old, it's hard to go out. It's, uh, he thinks it was in the winter, it's cold outside. It's, it's not for him. So I'm not going to ask him. So Rabbi Mayor Plotkin said to him, listen, you prepare a driver in a car. and Just bring him and let him stay in 770 and just bring him in time. And when it's time to go out, we'll go out and make the bracha and then go back and leave. So Levin said, that's a great idea. And that's what he did. And he asked Rabbi Moshe if he's agreeable. He said, yes. He came to 770 that day. But before that, uh, Rabbi Plotkin met Rabbi Label Groner, who he's friendly with. And he told him that there's a chasana tonight. And, uh, and you know who's the Masada Kedushan, who's officiating? He said, no. So he said, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein. He said, really? So Rabbi Plotkin said to Rabbi Label, Maybe if he's here already, he, you know, maybe the Reb, he wants to speak with the Rebbe, the Rebbe wants to speak with him, maybe they have, he should have Yechidus. And Label didn't say anything. Later during the day, he said to Levin, uh, to, um, to Rabbi Plotkin, he said, he's going to go into Yechidus if he'd like to. From the, I asked the Rebbe, the Rebbe said, yeah, why not? The Rebbe said, sure, I'd like to see him. 
After the chuppah, Reb Moshe went back into 770 to prepare himself to leave, and Reb Leib Groner went over to him and said, would you like to see the Lubavitch Rebbe, Arayin Gei Rebbe, and Rebbe? He said, yeah. Plotkin <laughs> went up the steps and got eight Natacht, and there were steps going up to the second floor. He went up, and Reb Leib saw him, and he let him be there. And um, he wanted to see what will transpire when the Rebbe opens the door, when the door is open for him to go into Yechidus. And he saw when, as the door opened up, the Rebbe jumped from his desk towards the Rebbe Isha to give him Sholem, and then the door closed. But he did seem like jump up with, a, with an excitement to see Rebbe Moshe. When he came out, a Bachar went over to Rebbe Moshe as he's leaving 7-7, and he said, what did the Rebbe say to you? We'd like to know. The Bachar would like to know. And Rebbe Moshe said in Yiddish, what's your business? He wasn't used to this whole thing with Yechidus and Chassidim coming out of Yechidus and you share the information and then you go a Yechidus tensile. That whole thing was foreign to him. But, he, and he, but then he, he saw the Bacha really wanted to know. He said, we spoke about communal matters, which is, you know, important, but it's not your business. And then we spoke in learning. And he said, I want to tell you that not only is your Rebbe a great Talmud Chochem, not only is the Rebbe knowledgeable in Teira, it is Ariz. Ariz is a Yiddish word meaning he's a giant. He's a giant in Teira. And, and the Moshe said, but that's not also relevant to you because it's a different domain of learning. And he said, good night, and he left. And finally, the third thing that Meir told me is once that Moshe was in Montreal for the wedding of his Einikul, his grandson, Tendler, Rabbi Tendler. And um, so the Vad the which his father-in-law was part of, had questions, difficult shyness that they needed answers to. So they asked Rabbi Moshe to come, and he came to the, the to the group of people, and he answered the shyness and he spoke and learning to them and all that. And Rabbi Handel said that he he met many Rabbonim, Lubavitch Rabbonim in in, in, in Warsaw and Poland before the war with Big Talmud Chacham and knew the Alter Rebbe Shulchanoruch. But when he heard uh, and he spoke to the uh, to the Moshe, he said he knew the Alter Rebbe Shulchan Aruch better than any of them. He knew exactly before Reb Hendel started already explaining this far from the Alter Rebbe, that far, this idea, that idea. He knew it cold, and this was Reb Moshe who wasn't a Lubavitcher Chassid. So I think there's what to learn from from all these things.